Hey there beautiful family, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching a new video. Uh, how are you doing? How has your week been? And how are you? I would love to know. By the title you know that I will be sharing my low porosity wash day how it is at the moment uh, a few of you know if you've been following me uh, you know that a few months ago i discovered that i have low porosity hair like i've been treating my hair like it was high porosity for years now and i discovered that i have low porosity hair so it's been a huge learning curve i have been learning so much and that's what you'll kind of see in this wash day. I really had to get used to a lot of new techniques like using very warm water on my hair. I never used to do that. So you are gonna see some fogginess in this video. I already know it. I'm sorry for that, but I really need to use warm water because I need to show you guys how to effectively moisturize your hair. Everything was very new to me when I started, but I'm getting used to all of the changes and my hair has been thriving and I wanted to share it with you, especially because a lot of you have been asking me, how do I recover from protein overload? How do I effectively moisturize my hair? So I'll put all of the questions that you could have in the iCard. Will the iCard be here? I think the iCard will be here. I'll place the videos where I discovered I have low porosity, how to recover from protein overload, and my tips for caring for low porosity hair. I'll place them all in the iCard. I am super excited to show this to you guys. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. And if you subscribe, you become part of our family or in Surinamese, as we say, our family. So click that subscribe button, turn on the notifications because cool videos keep on coming. And uh, yeah, like this video as well and follow me on Instagram. I promised I was not going to talk too much, Let get, let's get into this wash day and uh, enjoy! <laughs> okay, so let's begin. The way I start my wash day now is I just get under the shower with my hair all out. And what I noticed with low porosity hair, it's super important to give your hair the time to let warm water penetrate and drench your hair. Because if I don't do that, if I just let water go over my hair, can you see? It's still voluminous and bulky. Water didn't penetrate the hair. So when I feel like water went over my hair for like five minutes or something like that, I start to section my hair up. I put it in maybe like four to six sections, maybe eight if I got nothing to do. And when it's in sections, I just detangle my hair under the water. I let um, the streams of the water help me while detangling my hair. And it's been really effective actually. When I've done that, when I've detangled my hair, I just twist it back up and I'm ready for shampoo. Okay, so when it comes to shampoo, I usually go back and forth between a shampoo or black soap. So I like both of them. I found some really good shampoos that have started working for me, but I love black soap because it's high pH, helps to open my cuticles. So which one will I be using today? Today I'll be using my black soap. <laughs> yes, I just use it straight out of the uh, bar, but you can make a DIY shampoo if you want as well. So I just use, I just take a little bit, I dissolve it in water, and I let the I use the foam to wash my hair. It gets my hair super clean. If you feel that it dries your hair out too much, the pure black soap, make the DIY black shampoo. I'm gonna link it in the iCard, or just use some conditioner before you wash out the black soap. I hope that helps. So as you can see, I go for my scalp first just to get that really clean and then I move the foam over my hair and lastly to my ends. When it reaches my ends, I wash it out immediately. And I want you to see the difference from before I use the black soap or the shampoo to when I'm washing it out. Can you see that my hair is 
accepting moisture a lot better. It is less voluminous. Um, there's more curl patterns starting to form because water was actually able to penetrate my hair. So after I rinse out my shampoo or my black soap, I immediately go in with a conditioner. I love this conditioner. All the products that I'm going to show you here are my holy grail, except for the deep conditioner that I'm going to try. But the Suave Natural Conditioner is my holy grail. I'm just going to apply that just before I apply my deep conditioner because I don't want... Let's just say I don't want my hair to dry out too much. So I apply some of this light conditioner. I let it soak into my hair and then I just go to the next section. Okay, so next up when I'm done doing all sections, I'm going to apply my deep conditioner. Um, I'm using the Maui Moisture Conditioner today. Ah, it was aight, okay? It, was, it wasn't anything amazing. So as you can see, my hair is really... The curls are popping right now. I'm gonna apply I'm gonna apply the deep conditioner to here where I just rinsed out the conditioner with warm water so I'm gonna apply a generous amount of the deep conditioner y'all know how that goes and um, I'm just gonna leave it in I'm gonna place a bag on my head and I'm gonna leave it in for like maybe half an hour half an hour will be good and then I wash it out again when it comes to washing out the deep conditioner once again use warm water i think you're gonna notice that for me a major key in this low porosity hair wash day is take the time to let water penetrate your hair that's one and two use warm water it makes all of the difference yes so like i said i'm gonna wash out my deep conditioner with warm water and i do it section by section because i want you to see how quickly i'm gonna do everything i wash out a deep conditioner with warm water and i immediately apply my sealing products i apply my curl milk i love this one by my yellow organics then i apply a cream this one by camille rose is amazing And then I, then I apply an oil. There were two oils that I was using here. I was using almond oil, which is definitely a staple of mine. It's good for uh, moisture as well. Um, and I was using a main choice strengthening oil, which I like as well. All products that I mentioned today will be in the description box. I want you to see that as I'm applying the products, I'm really taking the time to work the products in and to also start um, encouraging curl clumping because my hair doesn't naturally have a very strong curl pattern. It is still very frizzy and you know I've learned to embrace it, but I try to work with it instead of working against it. Um, and then I've sealed my hair. When I'm done, I'm gonna twist my hair up. And honestly, that is basically my low porosity hair day. And it's been the base for a lot of hairstyles that you guys have seen over the last few months. So that was my quick video on how I do this. I hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with someone who's low porosity and doesn't know where to begin. I will see you in the next video and I'm gonna place a few here in the screen so that you can choose from that, okay? I'll see you in that video. Have an awesome day, you wonderful human being. Bye!